The European Maritime Fisheries and Aquaculture Fund pays a lot of attention to the communication aspects of the projects funded by our program. Communication plays an important role in making sure your project has a lasting impact. Thank you for tuning in and listening this short presentation. In the next minutes, you will get a guidance on communication aspects important during the implementation of your project, some useful links, and learn how to organize yourself in the communication world. Why communicate? Let me give you three main reasons. The first one is that we want you to succeed and communication will help you in achieving the objectives of your project. Secondly, we want to spread the word and if possible, make a broader use of your work, your achievements and your results. By showcasing your results, you will encourage their potential transfer or replication in other regions, countries or fields. Last but not least, it is important to inform policymakers, stakeholders and also the general public about the best practices and innovations funded by the MFAF. We have several tools to help you. On the agency website, you can find useful material and tips on how to communicate your funded project and raise EU visibility, the way to use the European Commission logo and visual identity, how to get in touch with CINEA to widely promote the results of your project and your success stories, how to connect with us on social media. Please dive in and fish what is important to you. In fact, communication is a must. It is an obligation that comes from the grant agreement. One of the standard requirements is to create a project website or web page as early as possible when you kick off your project. We will talk about how to create a good one later on in this presentation. If you want to succeed in your communication activities, you need to develop a communication strategy. And we will come back to this with some good tips later on. In the grant preparation phase, we also recommend to put aside budget for some networking opportunities. There might be an excellent occasion to meet new partners, customers or collaborators. In our signed grants, as per Article 22, Visibility of EU Funding, you have a clear obligation to promote your project, its results and give information on EU funding. In all your communication material, you must always include the EU emblem and clear reference to the funding you received from the European Union. Here on the slide, you see how it should look like. The red EU emblem to be used is the one with the blue flag and stars in a circle that you can see on this slide. Please do not use Commission logo that can be only and exclusively used by the Commission services. You can download the correct EU flag and reference to the funding in various languages from our website. You need to show that clearly, so then later on the cost of produced communication outputs are eligible. All materials for dissemination produced, it is whether for media, website, printed brochures, or for conferences and events, must have this acknowledgement. We will follow your communication activities and we will monitor if you acknowledge the EU funding. To be successful, your communication activities must be well targeted in order to be effective. They must be proportionate to the scope and objectives that you're seeking. And they should address an audience that go beyond the project's own community in order to spread the information as much as possible and increase impact.
Here is a snapshot of main elements that you should take into account when thinking about communicating your project. More suggestions can be found going through CINEA's website communication toolkit section. Communicating your project is not only about meeting the grant agreement requirements. It's not only about ticking a box. It needs to be planned, thought through and strategic. Let's go to the first box. Think, plan, act strategically. Make sure you're clear and think about what you expect to gain from each communication activity and how the latter can amplify the project impact. Communication is not something to be done just at the end of the project. Please put efforts to generate interest from the beginning and continue throughout the lifetime of the project. Communication shall not be ad hoc, but instead planned, well-timed, complementary and budgeted. Second, you can't reach everyone. Consider who is your target audience for each activity and how you should tailor your message. You could use different media to reach different audiences. Third, think about the issue, not the project. Link it to society, to something that is known and close to your target audience. Make it relevant to daily life if possible. Be creative, for example, using visuals when appropriate. Try to get into the media mindset. Please consider that what is interesting for you is not necessarily interesting for others. Media are looking for this broader approach, thinking the issue. For example, in our portfolio, we have a project called Little Drone. In the communication efforts, we could certainly start by describing the drone and its functionalities, but we would recommend rather to start with the issue the project wants to tackle, which is marine litter. Then think when the period is right to communicate. Good time concerning marine litter, for example, could be summer, when people actually spend time on the beach and the message would become more appealing. Think global, but act local. For example, marine litter is a global problem. We know, but you could show one concrete beach that people can relate to. You can indeed accommodate the message to different regions or places. Finally, build your brand. Think about the logo and the association you want people to have when they see it or hear about your project. What does it represent? Let us focus a few minutes on the communication strategy. As you understand from the previous slides, it is a key element because punctual ad hoc communication activities will never be that successful as strategically planned activities. In order to be effective, I repeat, communication has to be strategic. This is why you may be asked in your project proposal to draft a communication strategy which you will implement when developing your project. Your communication plan should contain a number of elements that I would like to guide you through now. One, objectives. Why communicate? What is your objective? To inform and raise awareness? To make people change their behavior? To advocate for a policy change? Two, target audience. To whom do you direct your messages? It includes your partners. It could be journalists, authorities, or target group of citizens. For example, startups, researchers, or students. Three, message. Key message. What is your big idea? Does it correspond to your communication goal? Is it clear and easy to remember? Is it focused on concrete outcomes and benefits for ordinary people? Four, channels and tools. How do you reach your audience? Uh, via website, newsletter, social media, publications, photos, videos, infographics, or maybe via events. It is important that you evaluate your communication work during the project implementation. Did you look at the statistics from your website on page visits, for example, so you can assess the outreach and potential impact and if needed, you can adapt your tools, channels in order to be more successful. Or if something is not working well, 
or did not receive the interest uh, attention you were hoping for, you can explore other options, tools, or channels. Therefore, the communication strategy or plan shall be revisited or updated during the project lifespan as you go along to take stock and focus on the next activities or material to be delivered. In order to help you evaluate communication efforts and activities, we highly recommend that you develop a key performance indicator table. Why? Because right from the beginning of your project, you need to set clear objectives. We share with you here some examples of useful KPIs to look at when creating your communication plan. They will surely help you to monitor your communication efforts during the whole duration of your project. At the final stage, you will be requested to compare your initial KPI table with the results achieved at the end of the project. It will help us to assess how successful your project was. As the saying goes, the communication works for those who work at it. We will give you a few tips on different communication tools and means you can use uh, such a website, social media, other media, and events. Always remember that what you use depends on your needs. There is not a golden rule that applies to everyone or one size fits all. Be strategic in selecting means of communication. Consider the most effective, but also efficient and cost efficient media, fitting to the size and geographical scope of the project. Regarding project website, please create a clear structure. Make it easy for people to find the content that they are looking for and, very important, make it easy to contact you. Use simple language. Try to avoid technical jargon as much as possible. The website is public and accessible to everyone, regardless of your initial target audience. Use visuals related to your project activities. Please include pictures from your meetings, tests, demos, or any relevant deliverables. This will make your website more dynamic and interesting. Feed it regularly with content from your events, meetings, and major achievements. Otherwise, it will give the impression that nothing is happening. If you have accounts on social media networks, include the links on the website. Social media are a great way to keep up to date with what's going on in your community and contribute with your own views to the conversation. We invite you to connect with us and other EU projects on Twitter and LinkedIn. For social media, as for your project in general, focus on your target audience. Different social networks have a different degree of diffusion in certain geographical areas or among certain professional categories. For example, Twitter is frequent, but if you're targeting Eastern Europe or academics, it might not be the right choice and you shall explore Facebook or LinkedIn instead. Whenever you post something, make sure your content has an added value for your audience. No posting for the sake of posting. Use hashtags. Take advantage of national, international days or events with dedicated hashtags to increase the visibility of your content. You can use the following hashtags. Hashtag MFAF, hashtag Our Ocean, hashtag Blue Invest. Use visuals and photos to create interesting eye catching posts and stories. Ideally, photos from your project work. Avoid using data bank photos. Be original. Include links, especially to your website, in order to increase its visibility. If you are on Twitter, please follow us. We will follow you back. Also, please tag us. You see on the slide the very important account that you should always tag, the account of Cinea and the account of Digimari. We will retweet you and help disseminate your message to the EU community. I would also like to highlight that many of our projects are very active on Instagram too and have their own channels on YouTube.
we present here a few social media posts from our EMFF projects. As you see, projects are using original photos from their work. This is what we're looking for. The message should not be too complicated. Have you finished another phase of your project or you're about to launch a new product? Share it with us and with the world. Regarding media, they can help you increase your visibility at the local and national level. Please consider inviting press to your key events that may be relevant for them to diffuse and advertise. Here again, in press releases, press invitations, please avoid technical jargon and try to link your content to daily life and broad actions that are relevant to the EU citizens and please acknowledge the EU funding. It is good to have others talking about you and not be the only one involved in your own promotion. Participation to events related to the field of your projects can be very beneficial. Choose them strategically. Participate physically or virtually. Think about the audience and the target group. Plan them in advance. Bring content targeted to the event and to the participants. And also communicate about the events and what you're doing there. If you use social media, don't write empty posts, as we mentioned before, but please add some content. And also consider advertising your presence on your website or in the news or in the event section of your website. And also please inform us so that we can give publicity to those events you're participating in. On this slide, you will find a direct link to Blue Rose's project. One of our projects that have a very good social media presence, for example, on Instagram or LinkedIn. We highly recommend you to have a look and we hope they will inspire you. Another excellent example, the Open Mode project. Please see a direct link on the slide. They have produced a nice logo and some communication outputs, many videos and recordings of their presentations. We highly recommend you to check their website and social media accounts, for example, on Facebook or Twitter. It's highly recommended to produce some videos during the project implementation from important milestones that can be further promoted via multi-channel communication such as Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. The Sion's project has a very clear, well-structured website with project background, goals, activities, and results, linking directly to the partners' websites. Please have a look and get inspired. On the AJC website, and also here on this slide, you can find a link to the EMFF Data Hub, a database of EMFF co-funded projects. The Data Hub includes a map and statistics. You can easily use your own filters and get personalized results. This is a very useful tool to see the geographical coverage of our program and projects we run. You can see there the participating beneficiaries, which can also help you 
find potential partners to your consortium. What can we do for you? Well, we can certainly bring your project to important European events like European Maritime Day or Ecomondo or other big events at European level. We would be happy to have you there for pitching workshops, thematic sessions, and so on. What else could we do for you? Well, we could make your project part of the EU Corporate Communication Campaign. We're working with other EU institutions and services of the Commission, and often they are in the hunt of good stories to share with the public. Please keep in touch. Your project officer or advisor is your key contact point. Your new website goes online. You are organizing a big conference. You are launching an innovative product. You are hiring 10 new employees. We would love to hear from you whenever your project reached a newsworthy milestone. We are eager to showcase the good work you are doing from our co-funded projects. From the news section on our website, through our social media and newsletters, to our events, depending on the nature of your news, there are various ways in which we could help you pass on your messages. We do that by using different opportunities or channels and disseminate your communication outputs to maximize the impact. Our communication team is working with us to achieve that. Together, we go further.